Do you know the derival types of the hypoglycemia? Yes, you heard it right. If you don't know, then stay tuned with me because we are going to discuss that in our today's topic. Namaste. My name is Dr. Tanvi Mayur Patel. I am an endocrinologist, hormone specialist doctor from Mumbai, India. By the way, this is our hypoglycemia series and it is the most loved series and the most requested series. And today we are going to talk about what are the types of the hypoglycemia. Now, before I continue this video, let me give you one important information. If you want to watch this video in Hindi language, then on the i button and in the description box, there is a link. If you click on that link, then this video will be played in Hindi language for you. अगर आप इस वीडियो को हिंदी भाषा में देखना चाहते हैं तो ऊपर आई बटन पे और नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में एक लिंक है अगर आप उस लिंक पे क्लिक करेंगे तो इस वीडियो को आप हिंदी भाषा में पाएंगे सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ द हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया आई हैव मेड अनदर वीडियोज लाइक वॉट इज हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया वॉट आर द सिम्टम्स ऑफ द हाइपोग्लाइसीमिया विच पीपल आर मोर प्रोन टू गेट इट how do we treat it and how do we prevent it and today we are going to talk about the types of the hypoglycemia now just to give you a brief hypoglycemia is nothing but a condition in which your blood sugar is less than the normal range it can happen due to plenty many reason and it is one of the most important medical emergency which can happen to anyone who has a diabetes okay so now let's see what are the types of hypoglycemia so the first type is based on your blood sugar okay and based on your blood sugar hypoglycemia is divided into three subtypes mild moderate and severe what is a mild hypoglycemia if you check your blood sugar and if the level is less than 7070 but more than a 5454 mg per deciliter we call it as a mild hypoglycemia at this level you might have a symptoms and you can manage this condition on your own without anybody's help but if you don't treat this on time then it can lead into further condition called as a moderate hypoglycemia here your blood sugar levels will be less than 54 mg per deciliter but more than 4040 mg per dl that means your level is between 54 to 40 at this level you might have more symptoms and you may or may not able to take care on your own and you might need someone's help and if you don't treat this on time then this can progress to further and your blood sugar will further start falling down and lead you into a condition called as a severe hypoglycemia where your levels are less than 40 mg per dl and this level can be very very life threatening and at this level you may not be even in your state of mind and you might even be unconscious and due to this you might not be even able to take care of yourself and you might need someone's help and the assistance so these are the three types of the hypoglycemia based on your blood sugar level okay now let's see the second type of the hypoglycemia and that is based on your symptoms if your body has a symptoms now what are the symptoms i have made another video for that you can watch that video for detailed knowledge so if your blood sugars are falling down and if you are having the symptoms and at that time if you check your blood sugar okay this condition is called as a symptomatic and a documented hypoglycemia you had a symptoms you checked your blood sugar and it confirmed and that's the reason why we call it as a documented and symptomatic hypoglycemia many a times what happens that a patient gets all the symptoms okay however they are not able to check their blood sugar either they don't have a glucometer at that time handy but because of their old past experiences they treat this condition and they even feel better okay because we could not document this 
we call it as a probable and a symptomatic hypoglycemia okay another type of hypoglycemia is called as a asymptomatic hypoglycemia now what is this here your body does not have any symptoms yes your blood sugars are falling however you don't have any symptoms so when you check your blood sugar you can notice that your sugar are actually low now isn't it dangerous yes it is a danger condition and this condition we also call it as a hypoglycemia unawareness see hypoglycemia in itself is a medical emergency and on top of that if you are not aware that your body is going in unawareness state it is a very very dangerous situation you might experience that suddenly you collapse and you suddenly fall down without even getting any symptoms okay by the way what is hypoglycemia which all people are more prone to that i have made a another video you can watch that so that you will get a more detailed information however this more commonly happens to those people who have a very long duration of diabetes or if their sugar levels are too tightly controlled or people who have a type 1 diabetes okay so that is a asymptomatic hypoglycemia okay now third type of the hypoglycemia is called as postprandial hypoglycemia we also call it as a reactive hypoglycemia or in layman language we call it as a sugar crash now what is this see ideally when we eat food what should happen our blood sugar should increase right however that doesn't happen but rather your sugar level starts falling down that's what happens in postprandial hypoglycemia and this sugar level which falls down that happens within 2 to 4 hours after food now so why does this happen this happens more commonly to those people who are on a verge of getting a diabetes or who have a pre diabetes now pre diabetes is a condition wherein your body has gone into a starting stage of the sugar imbalance and due to that many a times even your insulin level gets disturbed and we call it as an insulin resistance or a hyperinsulinemic stage which is contributing to this problem many women who have a hormonal problem called as a PCOS that is polycystic ovarian syndrome they can also have this reactive hypoglycemia again this condition happens more to those people who are obese who has a very high body weight or to, to control that high body weight they have undergone some kind of a bariatric surgery which is actually a weight loss surgery in layman language and for this there are surgeries like a gastric bypass many people also undergo surgery for a, some ulcers in their digestive system they can also have this problem many a times if you have any tumor of the pancreas gland like a insulinoma that can also contribute to this condition also there are certain um, rare and congenital enzymatic metabolic enzyme defect which can also contribute to postprandial hypoglycemia so postprandial hypoglycemia is a nothing but a sugar level falling down after food okay now another type of hypoglycemia and that's the fourth condition and that is a fasting hypoglycemia now what is a fasting hypoglycemia see ideally when we fast for a long period of time no matter how long our sugar levels usually don't fall to a critical stage now why because our body has a defense mechanism see when we are in a prolonged state of fasting we are not eating food in spite of that if we still do any kind of a physical activity we still can survive this is in fact our survival instinct and that's the reason why nature has made our body a capable to fight a prolonged fasting what happens when you go in a prolonged fasting our body has a stored glucose and this stored glucose is called as a glycogen and this glycogen is actually stored in our liver so when your body is in the prolonged fasting state what happens this glycogen will start breaking down and will convert it into glucose and that's how we survive 
at the same time there are many stress hormones are also there which also helps in managing our blood sugar and prevent us from going into the hypoglycemia so that is what happens in a normal people okay so we don't develop a hypoglycemia in a fasting state but there are medical conditions wherein if you go in a fasting you will develop a hypoglycemia what are these conditions so the very first condition is that if your body does not have a good amount of a glycogen storage of course if there is no glycogen what are you going to generate glucose from so there are many congenital or the health problems enzymatic health problems metabolic health problems which we call it as a glycogen storage disease wherein you don't have a sufficient glycogen storage or the glycogen is not able to convert it into glucose okay then if you have any kind of a liver problems now liver problems like liver cirrhosis like a hepatitis or liver cancer can also give you this problem if you are having an alcohol and not eating especially along with it again your risk of fasting hypoglycemia increases if you have any other organ diseases like that of your heart your kidney your pancreas your risk of fasting hypoglycemia increases if you have a tumor of the pancreas gland and that is an insulinoma wherein your body is making more insulin hormone again you will go in a fasting hypoglycemia fasting hypoglycemia can also happen if you are taking certain medications like that of aspirin then a sulfa class of a drug you can get a low blood sugar Another condition which can give you fasting hypoglycemia is the other gland problem. See what happens when our blood sugar starts falling down, okay? Our body goes in a fight and flight response, a stress response. And due to this there are a lot of stress hormones gets generated. And it is this stress hormones like a glucagon, like a growth hormone, like a adrenaline, these hormones in fact increase our blood sugar. so if your body has any gland problem like that of the pituitary gland which is located in our brain or the adrenal gland which is located on top of our kidney in our abdomen region then also you can have a fasting hypoglycemia okay now fifth type of the hypoglycemia is a relative hypoglycemia we also call it a pseudo hypoglycemia pseudo means false isn't it that means this is a false kind of a hypoglycemia this usually happens to the people who are newly detected a diabetes now what happens see when you develop a diabetes your blood sugar starts going up okay 200 250 300 400 onwards so once your blood sugar increases gradually our body also gets habituated to this high level of a blood sugar and body tries to compensate with it however it is not an ideal condition because this level of the blood sugar is damaging your other important body organs so it is very important for us to control this so when we give you any kind of a medication to control this sugar level so we are going to bring your blood sugar down so when your blood sugar starts coming down though it can be in the normal range but because your blood sugar is changing downward your body is not able to accept this change and your body will start giving you a symptoms which usually happens when your sugars are actually in a hypoglycemic when you check your blood sugar you might find that your sugar levels are 200 250 and like that however you still got a low blood sugar symptoms which ideally should happen when your sugar levels are less than 70 so this because it is a false condition we call it as a false or a pseudo hypoglycemia okay and why relative because relatively your sugar levels are low okay so how do we manage it of course you need to talk to your doctor your doctor will change your medical prescription accordingly so that you don't develop this symptom but getting this symptom you should not discourage you to stop the medication okay in fact when we overcome this and we keep your blood sugar target around 120 130 gradually you will find that your body is overcoming this hypoglycemic symptoms okay so that was the fifth type
Now the sixth type of the hypoglycemia is called as a factitious or a malicious hypoglycemia or we also call it as an intentional hypoglycemia. This condition is actually a bought by intention. Now who are these people? These are the people who have some knowledge about the diabetes and their management. Either it could be someone who is a relative to a people who has a diabetic or a medical paramedical staff, maybe a nurse or a compounder or a hospital staff who knows little bit about the blood sugar. Okay, Many a times they use this knowledge in adversely and try to reduce their blood sugar intentionally. Now this can also happen due to many emotional reasons also. In fact, we have seen in hospitals, there are women who try to reduce their blood sugar in order to catch someone's attention. Okay, so it's big many times even attention deficit and uh, attention seeking disorder people also use this point in a malicious way. Okay, usually this condition, okay, what they do is that they take either insulin or a blood sugar lowering medication which is against the medical prescription and on their own on intention basis okay many a times people who have a depression problem anxiety problem they also use this many a times there are people who try for uh, taking their taking their life away in order to suicidal attempts they try to use this method in order to reduce their blood sugar and go into the severe state However, when we do the further investigations, we realize the real cause of the hypoglycemia and we manage it accordingly. So, factitious hypoglycemia is an intentionally uh, attempt to reduce the blood sugar for whatever reason. Okay? So, these are the major types of the hypoglycemia which we discussed today. Just to give you a brief, hypoglycemia can be mild, moderate or severe based on your blood sugar level. You can have symptom or you cannot have symptom. So you have a hypoglycemia which can be documented or hypoglycemia which is on assumption probable. Hypoglycemia can happen after food that is the postprandial hypoglycemia and it can happen in a prolonged fasting that is a fasting hypoglycemia. It can happen to the diabetic people when they are newly onset that is a relative hypoglycemia and an intentional malicious effect that is a factitious hypoglycemia. Okay? So that's what we discussed today. If you have any question pertaining to this hypoglycemia or the event, you can leave your question in the comment box. And please don't forget to watch this entire series of hypoglycemia because it is one of the medical emergency and it is very important for you and your family and relatives to know what is it and how do we treat it. Okay. If you are new to my channel and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe so that you will get more and more health related information. And if you got some good useful information after watching this video, don't forget to like. And then there is a bell icon. If you click there as in when my new video will be published, you will get an instant notification. So we will meet again in our new video with some good information. Till then take care of yourself. Take a good care of you and anyone who has a diabetes around you. Till then, Namaste.